Hello everybody. Welcome to Builder Buy. Today we're going to talk about how to get rid of Cortana. Now we've got four different computers here lined up that we're going to show this on. One's a desktop X399. It's got a clean install of Windows 10 2004. We have a couple of laptops. We also have an Intel NUC. And depending on the state Cortana is in, it's going to be in various states. I'm your host Gil Boyd and we're going to get rid of Cortana. Now there's going to be some side effects. What you have to think about is the benefits do they outweigh the problems. For example, because Cortana is so closely tied into search, you could end up messing up your search. At the very best, you'll still have search, but you may not after you get rid of Cortana. Uh, one of the solutions, there's a string of characters we have to put in. Another one, we have to take ownership of that file. And the third one, it's just a matter of you have to hit it just right to get the file to delete. So I'm going to go through those three different ones using four different computers. And there's three things we need to be looking for. Number one, I want to know what version of Windows I'm on. Windows 10 2004 or is it Windows 10 1903? Number two, we're going to bring up the task manager so it can show us what's going on within that task list. And then number three, what we want to do is um, we're going to bring up Windows Explorer and go to a specific directory to find the information we're looking for to see what's running. Uh, because you're going to see one of two things. We'll either make this work where we can restore it and, uh, well, let me just show you. We'll start with the first one, which is a clean install. So we're going to go to the first computer. Okay, this first computer is a desktop, X399 chipset. We've done a clean install, and this was done right after we did the upgrade to the 2 terabyte NVMe drive. So the first thing I'm going to do is start I. I'll go to System. I'm going to go down here to About, and I want to see what version of Windows I've got. This is Windows 10 Pro 2004. Now, of all the solutions we're going to show you, whether it be Windows 10 Pro or Windows 10 Home, the different versions, this should work on all of them. This all started as a result after we answered the question, how do you restore the taskbar, the Windows Quick Launch taskbar. We're going to go to that question and proceed to pull that information where we can extrapolate and put that into Windows because Cortana, under the new version 2004, is now a separate application and should be able to be equally uninstalled. Let's take a look. So again, Windows 10 Pro 2004. We'll close that. I'm going to bring up the task list, Task Manager. And the first thing with Task Manager we see in the task list, we're going to click on More Details. And we're looking for Cortana or anything with search in it. So we've already removed it on this computer. And I'm going to show you what we did to get rid of it. Now if we look again on the task list, right click, it still says Show the Cortana button. If we click on that button, we have Cortana. But, as we bring up the task manager, there's nothing in there about Cortana running under processes. There's nothing about search running either. Ah, there it is. Okay, search is running, but Cortana is not running. But Cortana is there. So for this version of Windows, we're going to go to Builder By. We're going to go to that specific video. And we're going to extract the information. Now the question was asked, and it's a two-part. And the part I gave was the first part was because that's the current version of Windows, which is 2004. I will take the same information and I will put it in this video so you won't have to go hunt for it like I'm doing. Okay, here's the command we've got to do. We've got to have the right-click Start Menu, select PowerShell. So on the Start Menu, right-click, we need PowerShell, PowerShell Admin. We'll bring that up and what we want to do is we'll type the command. So I'm just going to cut and paste and I press Enter. Initialized, done. Now that says that I have removed the app. So we'll exit and let's see if we got rid of it. Cortana button is still available. We click on it, nothing. Cortana button doesn't work. Now this is just the first part. We're not finished yet. So I'm going to go ahead and say don't show me the Cortana button. But that heading is still there. So we're going to go into the computer with the Windows E flag to bring up File Explorer. We go to this PC. Click on the C drive, we'll go to Windows, and we're going down to System Apps. We're looking for a folder that says Microsoft Windows Cortana, and it is gone. And the other folder that might exist would be Microsoft Windows Search, and it's not there. Okay, there it is, Search. So if we do Windows Flag S, we still have Search. Press the Escape key, we're back. Okay. Now this is an important distinction. This is what I want to show you. We've uh, wiped out Cortana. It doesn't work and the Cortana button doesn't work. But Cortana is still on that menu. I've only done this about maybe eight or ten times. And I'm going to show you on four different computers how it's going to look four different ways. Uh, the two laptops will be Windows 10 Home. 
The desktop, of course, is Pro on the X399, and on the Intel NUC, I believe that's also Pro. So these solutions that I'm showing you will work on different versions of Windows, but what I've just shown you is specific to the latest version of Windows, which at this time is Windows 10 Pro 2004. When we get to the other computers, I think they're running Windows 10 Pro and Home. I think they're 1903, but we're going to see different settings. And the folder I'm showing you right now, the distinction is, is if you have that search folder existing within this Windows system apps, search will still work. If that Windows search folder does not exist, search will not work. And depending on the status of how Windows was installed and when the updates were done and where you're at with those updates, which is, which is a nightmare, you'll get varying degrees of what will work and what will not work. But our goal number one is to get rid of Cortana. The side effect of that is you may not be able to use search. Now, with search that does work, there's other ways we can go into and uh, fix search so that it works a little bit better, like stop using Bing or uh, stop going out on the Internet. So instead of getting a page showing all this stuff on the Internet, you just get a blank page. I find that very, very annoying. Rather, uh, well, I think it's pointless. But anyway, a search needs to be searched where I can search my hard drive for local documents. That's what I want to find. When I want to go on the Internet and do a search, I go on the Internet and do a search. But anyway, that's one way, the first way of getting rid of Cortana. The second and third way, the last way is kind of fun because you're bouncing back and forth trying to make it happen. So I'm going to show you how to do this, but travel at your own risk. Your results may vary. Remember that. Now we're going to go to computer number two. And I believe this is going to be on a, um, this is an Asus laptop we're going to do this on. We'll go from an Asus laptop, then to a Lenovo laptop. And from there, then we'll go to an Intel NUC. So first thing we want to do, again, we'll bring up the task manager. We need more details. We are looking for Cortana. And there it is. Okay, this one's going to be interesting. Because the status we're at with this particular computer, what I need to do is go back and double check the version of Windows. Let's do that right quick. Windows flag I, system, about, and we are on Windows 10 Home 1909. So Windows 10 Home 1909, and we have under the uh, task manager, we have the uh, Cortana application, which is kind of what search is because they've got that tied together. So to kill Cortana, we're going to kill that ability for search to work. So I can close that window. Now this is the tricky part. Here's where we're going to have to have two windows open side by side. One I'm going to have the task manager up and two I'm going to have that folder up where we're going to be looking. And what I have to do is kill the process immediately then go and rename the folder. Because this I can restore if I need to this way. Bring up the process, kill it, and rename it. And it's going to it's going to argue with me when I try to do this. Sometimes this works on the first time. Sometimes it takes half a dozen times. We're going to see what's going to happen. We're going to put these two side by side. Windows flag E. We're going to go to this PC, the C drive, Windows. I don't have the screen tilted back far enough, so I'm trying to stretch to see what I'm looking at. Windows and system apps. And we will see. Let's make a little bit more space. We will see Windows Cortana. Now, if I click on that with like an F2, and I want to put a 1 in front of that to rename it, it will not let me. It will say, this is what you're going to get, and this is what we're fighting with. You'll need to provide administrator permission to rename this folder, Microsoft.Windows.Cortana, with a bunch of stuff after the end of it. Shows the date it was created. If I click on Continue, it will not let me. I'll show you. It'll keep asking me, and it won't happen. Now, because I've already gotten past the UAC screen, from now on, I'm good to go. So hopefully it won't ask me again because it slows down the process. So what I've got to do side by side is I've got to kill the process, which is Cortana. I'm going to right-click, in task, right-click, right-click, in task. And I'll go back over here, Cortana, F2, Cortana, and I'm going to put a 1 in front of it. By renaming it, I'll still be able to get access to it. But I have to go back now while it says try. I'll put that box on the side, and I'll go over here, and again, I will kill the process. Cortana background task host, in task, in task, and in task. Now, now I should be able to continue and try again. Doesn't always work the first time. Cortana, in task, Cortana, try again. I'm not being quick enough. In task, try again. Done. Did it. A little bit annoying. Took me, what, three times? Sometimes it's the first time. Sometimes it's a half a dozen times. Like I said, it's back and forth. Now, with this way of what I have done, all I have done is rename the folder. By renaming the folder, Cortana can still work if I want to bring it back up. 
but I'm going to leave it that way so it's not there. The other thing I'm going to look for is if there is a um, Microsoft Windows search. Let's take a look. As we look, there's the folder I renamed. It'll stay put, and there's nothing in there about search. So I'm going to zoom out. Now you have to keep in mind, Microsoft in their infinite wisdom could restore this with one of their updates. It's hard to say. This is version 1903. It's kind of like the network. When you get your network set up and everything's open so you can uh, make things work where it's all copacetic, they'll come in and blow those settings out and you have to go back and redo that. So the same may apply here. I have not gone through an upgrade doing this process, but this is the way number two to do it. And this is one of the options you'll see. What well, next thing I want to do is we're going to test and see what happens if we bring, try to bring up search. So let's check it out. Okay, if I do Windows flag S, I get nothing. By disabling Cortana, we have effectively disabled search right now. Now, if that's something you need, then you have to decide what's more important, get rid of Cortana or if you need Windows search. I showed how it was working on, uh, I believe that was the uh, Windows 10 Pro 2004. I've shown you what happens with Windows 10 Home 1903. We're going to do another machine that's Windows 10 Home 1903. Let's see what it does. Every machine I've looked at, I see different things. It's in a different state. So I've shown you one, two. Let's see what the next computer looks like. See if it's the same. Now this computer we're going to go to, this is a Lenovo Flex 5. Great little laptop, laptop and tablet. It's got an NVMe drive in it. We've got a lot more stuff to do with NVMe, but we're doing this how-to video because the question came up, but we got to get onto the build, and to do the build, we've got one to do about the uh, next case we're going to do for the uh, XLATX for the TRX40 build. So I don't want to do this while it's still in my head because this is not something I do every day. You probably don't either, but if you want to get rid of Cortana, this is how to get rid of it. So the first thing we're going to do is check our version of Windows, Windows flag I. We'll go to System, About, and we are on Windows 10 Home 1909. I didn't expect that. I thought this was 1903. So uh, we're going to see a different version. We've seen Windows 10 Pro 2004, Windows 10 Home 1903, and now we're going to look at Windows 10 Home 1909. So we'll close that out. Let's bring up the task list. The first thing you'll probably see if you never brought this up is it'll say, the minimize view, we want the more details view. So we're looking for the letter C. I'll just press it and see if we go to it. And there's nothing in there about it. So this machine may have already been uh, taken care of. I don't see anything about search running. So I'm going to close it. Let's do Windows flag S and there's search. So that tells me that that part of search is working. So let's go to the Windows flag E for explore. We'll go to this PC, Windows C. We'll go to Windows, go to the W's and I'm looking for system apps and we should see there's Cortana okay and I don't see I don't see anything about search all we have is Cortana so to rename Cortana we are going to lose our search capability I'm just saying there's there's effects and causes and one thing can cause something else but these two are closely related but if that's a problem for you this can still be brought back because we're going to do the same thing we're going to put the one in front of the word Cortana all you can all you have to do is go back and put, take the one out it'll immediately restore it search will be working again, but you'll be using the search Cortana. Until you get the 2004 of Windows 10 to uninstall the application Cortana, this is what we have to do. And uh, I'm hoping on the Intel NUC we're going to see version 3 where I can show you how we have to take ownership of it. So let's do this like we did the last laptop. I'm going to zoom out. Let's bring up our task list again. Task, task manager, look at our task list. Ah, I didn't see Cortana there the first time. Okay. And here again, the process, we've got to kill Cortana, and we've got to go back and forth to rename that. So, so what I want to do is on this side, where it says Cortana, I'm going to press F2 on a laptop. It's Function F2 for this particular laptop. Function F2. I want to put a 1 in front of that. Now, it's going to come over here and ask me that question. I'm going to say Continue. Of course, it'll say, yep, we've got to get that out of the way. Now then, we'll position that over here to the side. We're going to kill the process. In Task, In Task and try again not quite okay go over here cortana in task in task try again i'm not being fast enough try it again oh we got two in there in task in task and just not quick enough let's do the in task See if it kills the whole thing in task and we got it like i said you got to be quick when you do this kind of like you snooze you lose so we've shown you now on three computers uh, the first one was one way, putting in that code to uninstall the application. The other two was where we had to rename the folder, and that's easy to get it back. But we've lost search capability on these two computers. Now we're going to look on an Intel NUC and see if we can show you the third way of these four computers. Let's see what it's got for the Intel NUC. So let's look and see what version. Windows flag I. 
system about we are running Windows 10 Pro 1903. Okay, so we'll close that. Let's bring up the task manager. Look at our task list. More details. And we have Cortana running. What we may have to do is bring another computer in so we can show you the other way what has to be done to take ownership of it. Uh, that's a really important task that has to be done. Right now, three of these computers are the same way, which I didn't expect. Only one is different, and that was the 2004. But I have another idea. So let's do this one, same as we've done these, and do it again. Okay, Cortana is running, three processes. So we'll go to Windows Flag E for Explore, this PC, C Drive, Windows W, scroll up to the S's, System Apps. And we should see, yep, Cortana. Now I want to scroll down through the list and see if it says anything about Windows Search. Not a thing. So when we kill Cortana, we're going to kill Search. So just keep in mind, here we looked at four computers. One of them was set one way, and the other three have all been set the same way. I didn't know what to expect. Okay, so what we need to do, we'll do the F2. We're going to rename it. I'm going to put a 1 in front of it. And again, this allows me to restore it. And I've already killed the UAC on this one, so I don't have to mess with it. So I'll leave that up. It says try again. And let's see here what we can do about getting rid of Cortana. In task, in task, try again, try again. One more time. Cortana, in task, Cortana, in task, Cortana, in task, in task, try again. More views, Cortana, in task. It's being a little persnickety. In task, in task, in task, done. So you got to be right on top of it. It's a little tricky. It's a little tricky getting that to work. So I've done this on four computers. One was the 2004. The other three were all the same, even though they're different versions of Windows. Okay, so what we've been able to do is show you on four different computers two different ways to do this. There's a third way, but I need another computer that's got that specific configuration on it to show that. I want to thank everybody for watching. This is Builder Bio. we got some more videos to do, but this how-to video had to be done while it was kind of in my head. Uh, there's a third way on how to do this that we may show you at another time, but I have to have it on a computer to show you. It's about taking ownership of that file and changing the permissions so that you can delete that. Another video. So we've still got another case to look at on the XLATX. We've also got a TRX40 to build. Probably this next case that we're going to use may be the one we're going to do it with. So, And we've got some more NVMe quad cards we're going to be looking at. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. My name is Gil Boyd. And we'll look forward to seeing you next video. You guys are amazing. That'll do it.